Hi, my name is Frankie. I'm at the main entrance of Amico Center of Excellence. We call this the Knowledge Gateway. And today, I'm providing you a short tour of this particular center. All right, let's follow me. Now, Amicor, in this case over here, it's really a practice of knowledge management, learning, coaching, and consulting center. And you'll find that this place, especially the physical architecture of this place, is really cool. It's cozy, and most important, when you're here, in the near future, you will find yourself being very welcome. We will now start the tour, the actual tour. All right, first, let me introduce you what we call the center operation point. Now, this is the place. This is called the center operation point. This is the place whereby all our learning materials, our coaching materials, our consulting materials are printed and in short, all our knowledge packs, including our presentation CD, are all prepared over here, right this particular station. All right, next, I will show you what we have here. And this is what we call as our corporate service desk or our help desk. The team station here is responsible to provide frontline corporate services to all our corporate clients and our program participants. Now on this side, what you will see really is our knowledge capital section. A lot of our practice of knowledge management reference materials together with the hard copies of all our program materials are stored here. Alright now, so next station, I will show you what we call as our registration counter. This is our registration counter. First, when the participants come in, what happens really is that they need to sign in here before they proceed to enjoy their learning journey and learning experience. All right, now follow me to my next stop on this side, just over this side here. Now, so what you really see here, it's the corporate programs consulting corner. This is where our corporate programs consultants are stationed. And what do they do? They offer advisory services relating to learning, coaching, consulting, pro programs and solutions that we provide in this very center. And right at the back, you will see essentially our buntings. And these are some of my beliefs here. Now, first you can see Living critical knowledge capital is the single most important asset of the performing organization. And you can see the other one here too, the critical knowledge powers breakthrough performance. Now, and this side, you can also see, uh, it says here clearly, the practice of managing critical knowledge can significantly increase the financial worth and the real market value of an organization. We also have one on this side, that talks about our core expertise. And it says here, our core expertise is what? Offering the practice of knowledge management, learning, coaching, and consulting solutions. All right, our track record, since 1996, in 23 countries, specifically covering more than 1,000 organizations. Let me now proceed to this side of our physical architecture. You'll find that our physical architecture is pretty cool over here. Now, this is what we call as the knowledge collaboration zone. This is a place whereby a lot of times the corporate clients, the program participants, they hang around here. What do you do? Knowledge collaboration, knowledge sharing. And on this backdrop, yeah, this, this very backdrop, you will see it's stated here. We are the leading innovator and provider of the practice of knowledge management, learning, coaching, consulting solution in this region. Now, perhaps at this point of time, 
what I'll do is I will talk a bit more about this center and PO cam. Now, first of all, Emiko Center of Excellence was established in 1988, 26 years ago, as a key division of JT Frank Global. Now, as far as we're concerned, we are also a registered training provider with HRDF. Let's talk about current. This very physical setup. This physical center was set up, established in October 2013. And it was set up for the purpose of planning, organizing, and managing all the learning solutions, coaching solutions, and the consulting solutions that I designed, develop, innovate, and facilitate. And this is what we do over here. And people ask, what really is the practice of knowledge management all about? To provide some background, the truth is, I conceptualized this model, the POKM model, practice of knowledge management, in 1996 and from 1996 to 2013 I have shared the practice of knowledge management to essentially more than 1,000 companies globally corporate participants representing more than 23 countries around the world and these countries include US and Norway and from Africa, we have uh, Mauritius, South Africa, Botswana, and even Nigeria. In the Middle East, we have uh, UAE, we have uh, Bahrain. In the Asian region, we have countries including India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan. And of course, we have China, we have South Korea, Taiwan, Hong Kong even Mongolia. In Southeast Asian side, we have Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, and of course including down south, Singapore, Brunei, and the Philippines. Of course, not forgetting Indonesia. Now, participants from all these countries have taken my practice of knowledge management learning solution from 196 right up to 2013. So, what is the practice of knowledge management really all about? In short, POKM. Now, POKM is really about one, developing eight highly focused capabilities, two, enabled by knowledge tools. Three, to systematically manage critical knowledge, leading to breakthrough performance. And of course, the entire practice to kickstart it is enabled by what we call as an implementation action plan. From my years of experience, I come to this simple conclusion to really make the practice of knowledge management work to initiate and to sustain this practice. The hate of human capital plays a critical role. And normally, my recommendation is to recommend the hate of human capital to initiate and to play a leading role. Of course, if you have the uh, hate of company, it's involvement in the process, then certainly is an added or a strategic advantage. And for this very reason, there's reasons why, I run a half-day forum workshop in this area. And the title of this half-day forum workshop, it's known as Initiating the Practice of Knowledge Management to Achieve 
breakthrough performance. And I run this half day forum workshop every week. Yes, every week, which means 52 intakes in a year. That's what I do. Now, next, you also find therefore that in this context over here, as far as the forum workshop, it is it has 16 very specific benefits that we can achieve. Meaning to say, at the end of the half-day forum workshop, the participants will be able to secure, to achieve these 16 key benefits as stated in all our communication materials. This is my personal assurance for all of you. And of course, I'm looking forward really to seeing you to come to my board program to participate in this half day session in the very near future. All right. Next, what I'll do is perhaps I'll continue my tour of us. Uh, regard this physical architecture, this cool place I always talk about. I really love working here. Now, here you will see therefore that we have the uh, refreshment area. Yeah, where refreshment breaks are served for all our participants. And on this side, just follow on this side, you would have what we call as the, as what we call as the learning journey gallery. Now these are all the souvenirs, the gifts, and of course, all the mementos that's presented to us by our corporate clients, by our program participant. And you can see there's really a lot of them here. This is the first section. Now, next, you will see that this is our communication board and it highlights our present and future initiatives. All right, right this place here, what you see is, you will now see what we call as our knowledge networking spot. This is the place whereby a lot of uh, brainstorming take place and many ideas are generated, many solutions are generated here. This is the first section of the knowledge networking spot. Now go to the second part of it here. Now, this is the second part of this knowledge networking spot here. And I was saying to you that uh, a pretty amount of uh, uh, ideas and solutions are generated here. Now at this point, I, I need to highlight to you this. Now, in addition to the core expertise, in addition to the core expertise I mentioned a while ago, which is in the area of the practice of knowledge management, now what happens really is that this center also offers, this very place also offers six, six supporting specialized program series. And this six program series has been facilitated. We, we have done this series over a long period of time and includes the following. The first, the first program series relates to the head of departments enhancement. We call it HOD enhancement. Now these are highly integrated programs and they are designed and developed to significantly enhance the highly critical skills of the heads of department, the heads of division, and the heads of company. And the skills places the skills places key emphasis on focusing, driving, nurturing, and managing departmental staff and organizational talents. This series also includes programs relating to one, performance management, which includes key pillars like formulating, setting KPIs, conducting evaluation or performance evaluation, formulating performance improvement plans, and implementing performance improvement plans. And the other focus would be relating to building what we call as positive performance-based culture. We also have a very unique program uh, which relates to preparing performance-based job description. Now all this are targeted design and we target for what we call as the heads of department. We also have a second 
program series which focus on self-driven breakthrough skills and we call this the empowerment programs now this programs uh, places key focus in three areas one developing positive performance habits developing positive performance mindset second the practice of emotions management and third developing systematic work management practice that is the second series right the third series that we have here relates to functional programs and very specifically uh, it talks about functional programs for very clearly corporate sales professionals and on the other side corporate or customer service specialists and for the corporate sales professionals we have a range a very comprehensive range of proven programs and that includes number one strategic sales manager enhancement number two formulating and implementing strategic sales plan number three developing professional skills to market product and services to corporate clients including key account management and lastly strategic negotiation skills and for the customer service professionals we have two key programs one on developing frontline customer service skills and the other one a systematic approach to manage what we call as difficult and angry customers now this is the third series and the fourth series we have relates to what we call as highly specialized role play interviewing skills program and in this series we have two unique program one developing competency based interviewing skills and secondly developing skills to facilitate performance evaluation and coming to the end the fifth program series that we have is designed strictly for the training specialist and of course including the learning and development professionals right this particular series over here uh, places key emphasis on the following first we have program solutions relating to how to formulate implement performance base training needs analysis second how to design and develop effective training programs including designing developing on the job training program and talent development system we have one on first developing facilitation skills and last one relating to formulating implementing training evaluation transfer of learning and return on training investment and for those specialists they want to look at formulating their training plans and the training calendar we also have a program in this area and by far and large the last one is the one that is the most unique of all in this series and that is a systematic approach to actually transform our training function into a corporate learning center and and for those of you of the people that are managing training centers today this very program can essentially assist them to significantly enhance the capabilities of their learning center and of their academy and of course finally number six our soft skills series and this soft skill series are designed specifically for key management and key talents in the organization and the programs that we have in this series include first key manager enhancement program two developing counseling skills three developing coaching and mentoring skills four developing corporate presentation skills and we also have one very special program that talks about providing highly focused support highly focused support to add real value to the immediate superior or to his or her department 
Now these are the collection of programs and solutions that the center offers in addition to the core expertise that I talk about earlier on. All right, we should now continue our whole tour to finish the tour. Now here is a second section. Now here is a second section of our learning journey gallery. And you can see likewise again, we truly have a lot of all these souvenirs and gifts from our valued corporate clients and program participants. It's really like a real testimony of uh, endorsing, recognizing our contributions to all these companies over this period of time. Yeah. Now what we do now, we now go to our learning space. And this learning space, we have a special name for this. Okay, follow me to this learning space over here. Now this learning space here, what do we do? We call this the Alpha Knowledge Vet. So you can see right on top, uh, we have this Alpha Knowledge Vet. It's the name of this place. We call this the learning space, and this is where we create the environment for our learning journey. All right, now behind me, you will see what we call as the presentation boards here. And these presentation boards will provide me with the platform, enable me to communicate ideas, Taxit knowledge to all my participants because this is the place that I do all my presentation and what I do is that I will use board diagrams with four color coordination to transfer messages across and important right here you will see uh, below this white box here you actually see the eight key focus with regard to the practice of knowledge management you have focus number one knowledge identification Focus number two, knowledge acquisition. Focus number three, knowledge application. Focus number four, knowledge sharing. And focus number five, we have knowledge development, knowledge innovation, knowledge preservation, and finally focus number eight, knowledge measurement. And you can also see that all these eight words, eight key focus areas are put in and where you can see the backdrop in this case will be green grass. What it shows that the message we want to share across is that the focus of the practice of knowledge management can very easily and very healthily, for the matter over here, grow in any organization. And to be specific over here, grown to become the company's highly positive culture. All right now, so on this side, you will see therefore that um, we have what we call as our leisure or leisure corner. We even have our karaoke sets here. Why? Because we believe that a karaoke, we believe that the right music is really an enabler for certain programs, right? In other words, this can be the enabler and we always use this enabler to accelerate meaningful learning for certain selected programs okay let's go to the other side of this uh, room or the alpha knowledge web now here you will see we have our three learning horses yeah and horses represent speed in this knowledge base innovation driven economy the speed in knowledge sharing the speed in knowledge collaboration pioneers significant improvement and we call this innovation all right on top of this horses you will now see three key paintings now the first painting on this side reflects darkness but does it mean when a person lacks knowledge he see darkness in the second painting you will see some light and when a person have a more open mind to learn an open mind to acquire knowledge, the person see more light, he see further. And finally, we have the third painting here, and in this painting, what it means to say is you can see real brightness. Now, and the meaning and the message we want to transfer across is this, as long as a person have the key capabilities to systematically manage 
critical knowledge, the person will have unlimited potential into the future. All right, now, so here, right here towards the back part, you actually see four white boards. You know, you have the first white board, the second, the third, and the fourth. Now, uh, we call this the team discussion areas. Now, in the morning, the participants will acquire structured knowledge and it will be seated right in front here and normally it will be from 9 o'clock until 1 o'clock they will be acquiring structured knowledge in the afternoon from 2 to 5 what happens is this they will then make an attempt to apply the knowledge they have acquired in the morning which means in the afternoon they will begin to develop skills and this is a place in which these participants will do their brainstorming, will do their knowledge abrasion, we call this. They fight among themselves, they generate solutions and answers. And after that, all the answers, all the findings, all the solutions will be put on the board all around here. And each of them will be required to present and defend their, their findings. Okay? Now, this, by far and large, is a quick overview of Alpha Knowledge Web. And also, we have come to the end of this particular tour. And when I was saying just now, right when I started, I said, this physical architecture, this center, will give you the feel that it's a very cool place. I'm sure by now, you agree with me. And of course, most important, as I said earlier too, when you're here, you will feel welcome. And of course, you must not forget, this environment, this place is really designed to provide all of you, to provide all participants to have what we call as a comfortable, a meaningful space for them to acquire knowledge, develop key skills. In short, they will have inspirational learning experience right here. I look forward to seeing you in the very, very near future. And most important, when we meet, you will know exactly what I say today is exactly what it means here. At this point, I will sign off. Cheers, take care, and bye-bye.